let's uh, take a look at our Made in Kenya segment. Now, the height of COVID-19 pandemic in the country, Kitui County Textile Center, popularly known to all of us as Kikotec, stepped up to make personal protective equipment for the struggling healthcare system. Since then, the center managed by the Kitui County government has pushed the envelope and is now making national government administration officers uniforms. Here's our Made in Kenya feature for this episode of Business Now. From a bird's eye view, it looks like a complete mess. Fabric lying everywhere, men and women hustling to meet the daily targets. Kitui County Textile Center, commonly known as Kikotek, was started to give locals an opportunity in employment. Kikotek started in 2019. I banned charcoal burning, I banned sand harvesting, and that is where a lot young people were. These helped to absorb a number of young people in Kitui who first had to undergo training to acquire relevant skills needed at Kikotek. Mi nilikuwa nafanya Nairobi. Sasa nikikwambia maisha Nairobi na tangu nijiunge na Kikotek, naona venye si venye nilikuwa nikiwa Nairobi. Kikotek has today grounded itself as a made in Kenya hub, producing school uniforms, personal protective equipment, PPEs for hospitals, and its latest tender in the bag to produce uniforms for national government administration officers. The administration police bring us the materials, and ours is to cut for them and trim them. This is where you have these young people who are doing this work. They have been trained, they know what they do, and they check also. The quality. Then they are numbered so that you don't mix the sizes. Because if you make a mistake, you waste that material. Then we now have the team that feeds the lines. And in every line, there is somebody checking the quality. You do a bit, goes to the next person. This, as you can see, is a very complicated. Uh, garment. Look at the details. The final checker, quality checker, must then check, make sure that it's properly pressed and make sure that it is properly folded for packaging. When I have too much work, I have got to have two shifts, day and night. We also have here in this factory people living with disabilities that we have also given them work to do. If you look at the materials that are being made here, they are materials made in Kenya. You can imagine how much it was costing us when we were buying all these materials made in China. Each uniform here made by these young people only cost the material plus making about 3,500. But even though the county executive runs this hub, it also has its fair share of challenges. When we started, we needed a budget. And that budget was not forthcoming. It has been push and pull between the county government and the county assembly. We have got to stop the people who are trying to import things like this that can be made in Kenya. And I want to encourage ourselves that we can actually do this. I'm a firm believer in uh, poverty eradication. And the poverty eradication cannot be done via handouts. It has got to be done via hard work, such as what you are seeing behind me. Edward Chua, Business Now, Citizen TV.